go. It's an early spring dock bite. Oh, you got a nice one, Al. I got a good one here. That's, That's a good one. sign. Yeah. I'm just going to yeah, stop little, us little here with the talon for a second. Came off of there. Surprised to see that many boats uh, or docks in this early in the year here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish, here. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish. Heck yeah. You know, this has been a really, really interesting spring for me. It's been really a lot of fun, let me tell you. My spring trip actually started, nice fat bass, Jer, good oh, fish. Man. I started in uh, uh, Arizona, and from Arizona I went and I fished in New Mexico. That was really enlightening, I learned a lot. It was a real eye-opener for me, and then naturally I went to Texas from there, and Jimmy flew down and met me in Texas. And, but uh, we did quite a bit of fishing in Texas. Texas in spring of the year is a phenomenal place to be. What do you want to catch? Cats, stripers, largemouth, smallmouth, crappie, everything is biting. And it's biting big time. I love spring in Texas. Then we went up to Oklahoma, played on a few lakes up there. And then I drove into uh, South Dakota and hook up here with Jeremy. He had a couple of speaking engagements here in the southeast part of South Dakota. And he said, why don't we fish a few of these lakes in this area? We don't have a lot of experience here, so that's what we're doing. And I'll tell you one thing about all of the guys at the edge. They love to explore new water. And it don't make no difference what the fish is. What do you want to catch? White bass? He pounded them yesterday. And there's the white bass, crappies, largemouth like we're fishing today, smallmouth, muskies if it's legal, pike, catfish. We won't shy away from a carp. Jeremy will definitely chase a sturgeon when the bite is right. Uh, hey, whatever's biting, we're on it. And spring of the year is one of the best times there is to pulse a lake out and catch some awful good fish. There's one. Lay out on the flat. I haven't seen it yet, but it feels like a, a decent fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I bet I am a happy camper with that one. Hello, Mr. Largemouth. Hello, Mr. Largemouth. You know, this is pretty shortly after ice out, only about a week or so after ice out. Man, can spring produce some phenomenal results for just about all, all fish, and largemouth in particular, like we're chasing today, are really susceptible to hard baits, spinner baits, crank baits, you name it. When that water starts flirting with 50 degrees, that's when it's time to crank and wind. You can cover a lot of water, especially when you're looking at new lakes. A crankbait, spinnerbait, Al's been throwing a little soft plastic around some of the cover. But man, oh man, can you have a good time catching all kinds of fish this time of year. That's a nice fish. I'm happy with what we're seeing so far. Largemouth by nature like to be around cover. They're a cover-oriented fish for the most part. I tell you what, in spring of the year, cover is really king. I caught that last fish out in this flat, my guess is there's some dead weeds that are still hanging out there. The last few fish were on docks, but the ticket really to finding largemouth, it seems like in the spring, is finding good cover and warm water. That's the, that's the whole ticket. So we're making our way into a, leading into one of the bays in the south end of the lake. This is kind of a bowl, but man oh man, if you see a piece of cover this time of year, more than likely there will be largemouth around it. Any cover holds fish. <laughs> 